Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? I am doing today very well. And today I am planning to show you that how <coughs> how I check this my cars, this cylinder head and those valves thickness. And there is idea that I like to check that that is are those valves enough good to use in my car and and this is like like fuel test that I am quite soon planning to add this uh, this fuel in this 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 ex house this holes and also in that opposite side there is this uh, intake intake holes this gasoline inside in that that area in, in here and then we can test that that when I add gasoline in these holes in here that that how 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 thick are those my cylinder head head this valves and 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 this this cylinder head and this this uh, this valve system is very very new and high tech and if we like to check a little bit those parts this is this is a Toyota's VVTI engines cylinder head and now these camshafts I have I have taken those away. In here we have this ex housed camshaft and in the, in that row we have this intake camshaft. And then when I take like there are uh, those metallic cups in here and I can take that out. This is this metallic cup cap where this camshaft it press these cups and just in in here there is this ventil this spring and there we can see this ventil head and this this line was this intake here comes this gasoline and in that that area here this is ex housed valves and in here this uh, ex housed gas is goes out in that that area okay and and then I insert that cup cap back in there and we can start to look this <coughs> cylinder head more more detail and, and and then I like to show you that that this where is this spark plug hole I have here one one spark plug in like example and this spark plug goes in these holes in here like in that way and then I have to of course rotate those those spark plugs and then then they are in in right place and now I a little bit turn this this cylinder head we can look this this spark plug area where is the spark? I rotate this a little bit more. Okay, and, and there, there is this this spark plug. They they come in these holes in this central area. And there we can see those threads. And actually. Now, in that area, there is this, we can a little bit see that spark plug and, and now I, I demonstrate that, that in, in the spark plug it is in, in that way in there, but only this, this small part is like looking when the spark plug is in this hole. Okay, and then when we look those those valves, there is very 
very good rule to know that that always these intake valves they are bigger as in here we can notice this is like one one inch is this length and this is like a little bit more than half inch is like and um, and then 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 we then we are doing this this thickness thickness valve thickness test and it happens so that that I rotate this this little bit this cylinder head and, and there must be those all holes open and I I insert here this log like support and then I have here bottle of gasoline or petrol and it, when we do this test it is good to use only same liquids what normally runs through these uh, these pipes and now when we have in this next house pipe there is of course this gasoline goes out and it is not recommended to insert in here any oil or or especial water water is bad and, and then I open that that bottle and, uh, and I dry first gasoline in this this hole something like half thesis so much that we can see this gasoline in this inside now there is this gasoline good and I will take a little bit closer you and there is now this gasoline in inside in there and, and and when we are working with this gasoline it's it's good to always be in outside because otherwise we we might have problems in inside. This flame breeze and also this gasoline is dangerous. Okay and then we check that 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 can we see any leaks in here in this valve area in here and if there is dropping gasoline in this floor this this ground then I we can notice that that these valves are leaking and now I think that this valve is is okay actually those two valves because it keeps this gasoline in inside in there and then then I and then we check this ground that is there any there is no anything and then we add gasoline in here and this this test is suitable for all cars and also in motorcycles and lorries and every like air airplane motors also where is this gasoline piston engines and we test that and then I add gasoline in here okay now there is gasoline and then we check that is there is there any leaks in this down area there is no any leaks this is like normal Toyota quality uh, uh, I have been once in one car where I had valve problems and there was actually big part like half inch this part missing in this valve and and if we have so big hole in this valves then this gasoline goes in one second out but if there is small thinning or uh, spraying go out then we can fix this uh, this valve using this uh, that we take that valve out and then we clean clean dirt this up okay and these two valves are okay and then then we go to forward and there is two two valves left and I add in here gasoline and this looks like also to be picked and in this cylinder head 
there is mileage something like 100,000 miles and this this is normal Toyota's high quality products that's, that in in these areas there is no no normal any problems then we check is there any any leaks no any leaks and then we have final exhaust valves in check and I add there this gasoline and if if I do that kind of thickness test and and all of these valves keeps this gasoline in inside I I think that my next house valves they are okay and then I check that is there any leaks in there and there is no any leaks okay and this is good result and then we need to test also those intake valves and now I go to throw these uh, these gasolines in my trash and garbage uh, bottle and and actually I have bigger bigger metallic uh, this uh, bottle where I can grind those those gasolines and and then we continue and we go to those intake valves okay and now I have I rotated this this cylinder head to an opposite side and now we are in this intake valve area and here we can see those clean intake uh, those pipes and 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 then we start to test this uh, now when there is leaking this gasoline the, the reason is that that this uh, gasoline goes out in this exit house this pipes in this opposite side okay and then I add this gasoline first in these these pipes intake and now we are testing intake pipes there is this first and we look result and what is this thickness is there any leaks okay there is no any leaks and there is this gasoline in inside in that that hole and then next next uh, two valves okay and there is this gasoline and is there any leaks let's check and it seems that there is no any leaks in these valves and next next third third valve set okay and and is there any leaks in there and then it's good to good to work in this in outside because this gasoline is now smelling and is this this uh, the third intake intake valve they are also ticked and there is no any leaks and then this final final the fourth and what is result in here there is this gasoline and is there any leaks no oh actually now there is leak. Okay, interesting. There is something dropping in there. And we found the leak. And this means that in that that uh, that valve set in here, when there is dropping these small drops, it tells that that there is small leak and I need to fix those two valves in there and then we look this little bit closer where is this leak can we see something is there anything where is this leak and now this 
this gasoline line is it is leaking in that valve or then in that one. And and now I think that that can can I see that that in there is there this leak. And this means that but normally when we I have then cotton cloth and I clean a little bit this valves that if we could manage that where is the leak coming coming out and I think that that this this leak is yes it's coming in here in that valve because this is empty and here is this gasoline. Okay, and there is actually leak in this. Okay, now we notice that in this piston there is issue. And this is small leak because there is gasoline line, but I think that, that that kind of leaks they can they can they can make this power loss in this cylinder. I my estimate that something like 10 to 15 percent. And if I take that valve out and and I polish those surface then I can recheck that system again. Okay and th this is the this is the reason and, and then I do this marking I go to take my my marking marking pencil and this is really interesting And then I have really professional marker. This this marks and writes and and paints to any surface. And this is made by Sakura. And this is so excellent. This marker. It is la something like, like plastic. And then I scrape that bolt in there. Then this this yellow color goes out and then I clean that little bit and then I do in here small cross and this this color is very durable in on any surface like in here it gives I recommend that if you could purchase this is best what I have ever used and like in there is this timber and it's also and this this resist even 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 gasoline if I at their mark in here. Okay, and now now we found one one found the valve. Okay. And this was that information and and thank you for watching.